Left the video shoot, got sh in your car? Yep, 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 got sh five times. My people was with me, my brother was with me. Got sh in his leg, I got sh in my stomach four times and I got sh in my, my face and my left eye. Hopefully he doesn't take the bait and spark another feud with Joni 502's taunts. I don't right. like you, no, I ain't gonna say I don't like you, but I'm in your block, like real talk. I'm right oh here. Oh God, I'm that's right. not, I don't wanna watch that. That doesn't, I don't like it, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm on the stage right now. I got a pretty doink, finna flame it up, and I'm finna watch this video. I'm gon' watch it with you, I swear. I thank you for coming back to see me again. Whoa! <laughs> As you can see, one thing is halfway already gone. That means I'm I'm Pluto. Okay. What y'all on? It's your boy Matt Mula, aka Mr. Mula Mac, and I'm back with another video, man. Hey, make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, man. Don't tweak, man. Please, pretty please, cherry on top, man. Come on, the cherry on top. You can't not do it, man. You feel me though? On um, bro, great. Follow me on the gram. Follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to my main my main channel. Is busting right now. It's turned up. You feel me? We just hit like what 160k. On the video, you know what I'm saying? I just came back after, you know what I'm saying, a long hiatus on Bro Graves. You feel me? So make sure y'all slide over and go to my Moolah membership channel right now if you want to learn how to go from broke to rich. I'm giving away free sauce, free game, free info, you know what I'm saying, over there. And if you want more info, click the link in my description. First link, you know what I'm saying, MoolahMembership.com. The app is on the way to the App Store and the Google Play Store. So, before we even start, See, I, 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 I've been wanting to watch this for a minute because EST, got, he got that music. He got that real goddamn. He say some shit. He say, he say something about that. He say something about trapping only a trapper would know. Like, you feel me? He was really around that. Yeah, they know they can't play us. Daddy, bring my name up. Ooh. And please don't call my phone about copping deuces. I'm, I'm going to hang up. up. And I still get active with no mask. With then I'm famous. famous. Can't afford to get me no more. I got my change up. Damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody ain't born in the project. Like, I'm born in the projects. Everybody ain't from the projects. Centuries. Like, I ain't going to lie. You better be fully focused, fully, Who the hell time, fully ready. Like, and that goes for the whole city. Like, from the west end, the east end, to, to downtown, to the south. To downtown. Everybody <laughs> with it. Like, like, <laughs> downtown. Everywhere. Why would you, why you decide to go at G? Oh, he, oh this is lie, Like, my whole camp. Like fuck that shit. Mm. But like I felt like I needed to be the voice of my side of the story. Like I felt like he been shitting on us for long. It's like you feel me? He say a little more. Anyway, we get on ESD for free as G about the freeway. Facts. We the reason for it, bad and that zip on his stomach oh. and a couple is there on me. Left the video shoot, got shit. <laughs> All I did hear about EST, so I ain't know this was out there like that. See, now I'm excited to watch the video. <laughs> you feel me, though? Oh, fuck that. That's a Fifi. No, nah, for real, though. Because I ain't know. I knew EST got hit up like a minute ago, but I never put two and two. Like, I never thought, like, what is Ops talking about? Like, is they rapping or, like, you feel me? In your car? Yep. Yep, yep. Got five times. My people was with me. My brother was with me. Mm. Got his leg, I got in my stomach Damn. four times. Shot in my, my face and my left eye. Only thing gonna take that pain away is if you get racks forever, get my lick back. Ten people were recently indicted on and weapons charges. All are alleged to be a part of the Everybody Shines Together gang. Or Never. EST. Make no mistake, these subjects are offenders. Ones she says are terrorizing the community and are linked to multiple crimes. Hey, yo, squad. I didn't know that was going down What's like the that drill? in Kentucky, though. Back at y'all with another video, man. Music has seen Kentucky, the rise right? of many new talents over the recent I mean, years. I, yeah, and it seems like an that. era of lie. the real is coming back. The authentic, raw, gritty music that brings that passion and energy to the listener. Rising star ESTG has all eyes on him, and he's bringing that fire straight out of Kentucky. But that come up lost him some friends, family, a yeah, scholarship, yeah. and nearly cost him his life when Ops got the drop on him. This is the story of ESTG, his come up, his beefs, and the events that led to him being sh by his ops and his crew being indicted. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. When you think of hip hop, your mind doesn't immediately go to Louisville, Kentucky, oh, but bro. that's becoming a thing of the past. 
with hip hop superstars like Jack oh, Harlow too, and Bryson Louisville. Tiller doing this thing oh. in the R&B scene, I do they've know they been adding their own flavor to the game. But in recent times, a new artist has emerged from the trenches with a style of music that has captured all ears in the industry. His name, ESTG. George Albert Stone III, also known as ESTG, came up in Louisville, George. Kentucky, <laughs> mainly in the streets of 5500 Riata Drive. He was a young kid surrounded by street influence. Riata. Riata. I know that. See, I know little like that because I listen to him for real. Riata Dada. Yeah. Living in a home that was just trying to make it out of the trenches. Uh, my whole family is in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's just what it was. His mom's was out grinding to provide the best she could. And Pops was a known gangster in the streets. Getting by the time he was just 11. He Damn. had a gold tooth. Got shot. What he said, he had a go to guy that had a tattoo by the time he was 11 years old. <laughs> he was putting in work to bring his family a better life, but as ESTG grew up, he understood more and more how messed up his life was. With his mom's losing custody of him due to lifestyle circumstances. She took care of me for a while, you know what I'm saying, when I was younger. Like, I ain't always live with my mom and my daddy. Like, I live with my, my granny for a little, a little while, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. My mom I had lost custody of me, you know what I'm saying? I live with my granny for a little while. And Pops being in prison part of his childhood, G didn't have it the yeah. easiest. Is that Even G with his Pop? childhood in the projects, no, like G. G always knew he was destined know. for something better and put the work in on the field to gain a scholarship to Indiana State That's to play up, football. Though. I you do, had a scholarship to play that. football in college, is that right? Yes, I did. What college were you supposed to go to? Uh, Bro was rated as the top linebacker in Kentucky and was nice damn. with it. G was shining even harder making the move to Sacramento City College where his talent was on track to take him big. But during all this, there was something the else going on in his life. The sad reality is G was funding his dreams out of his own pockets and not burdening his parents any further to pay his college tuition. Right. G was doing it all on his no. own. You know, he, you know that, you know he was trapped. Not knock nobody, but a lot of that I was doing, I was doing it by myself. Like, I chased my dream to play this sport for a long time, for as long as I could, you know right. what I'm saying, by myself, right. because I felt like in me. This pushed G deeper though. into the street life that he grew up around from his childhood. It was like second nature. In the Louisville projects, G was surrounded by pain, gunplay, and bloodshed, right. so the instincts came naturally. Yeah. Hold on, y'all, before we get back into the video, because we finna get right back into it. I gotta tell y'all about the Moolah membership. The Moolah membership is a website that I started a few years ago. Since I started this website, I have been able to put on so many of y'all, and I want you to be the next person to get put on. I'm gonna give you instructional videos, step-by-step -step instructions. I'm literally giving you lessons out weekly, daily, for you to understand these different categories. We talking about business, financial literacy, credit, Crypto, we're talking about stocks, we're talking about Amazon, we're talking about dropshipping, we're talking about YouTube. I'm literally giving you the gems to be a boss, the gems to be a successful entrepreneur in 2023. So this is all you have to do. Click the link in the description, sign up right now for the low, low price of $50 a month, bro. $50 a month, you're gonna get access to a one-on-one -on -one help with me. You're gonna get access to my group chats where my experts worldwide work around the clock, 24-7, to make sure you have the best stock and crypto call outs. That means all you gotta do is buy the same stocks and cryptos that I'm buying and make somebody all this bread. Very simple, very easy on Broke Gay. Stop waiting, stop procrastinating, click the first link in the description right now, especially if you wanna be a boss. And if you dead serious, man, if you wanna put that work in and get that money on, I'm talking about that easy money on, click that link in the description, shorty, right now, because we only got 2,000 spots and I would hate to see you be missed out. Skate. G yeah. was moving weight as a big fish in the trafficking game, and that bank was funding his career on the field. The money yeah. and the vices became too much, and the street dealer and gangster ESTG was born. G was putting in work on all ends in the street, doing it all as a youngin. Anything, anything, anything that a nigga feel like is that the street is supposed to do, I done did it. Period. <laughs> you know what I done did it. As far as anything being sold, anything being shipped, anything being protected. Anything being, I done did it. But G got that. too caught up being greedy that. and it cost him everything. Mm. Trying to secure an extra bag, G got hemmed up by the law. Yeah. In 2016, G was arrested for a trafficking charge. Damn. Facing up to 10 years. Damn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got caught with 12 pounds, like 8,500. You know what I'm saying? It was just allowed. my day. You know what I'm saying? 12 pounds allowed at 8,500? I should have been gone, but I didn't. On I'm trying to get greedy and yeah. get them extras and yeah. get me in my with a newborn son. Dropped it off on bro, man. 
Should have dropped it off, Ski. You should have dropped it off when it came back, popped that get pop back out. Yeah, you feel me? You wouldn't have got caught with 12. Hell no. Nah, the way man. ESTG Damn. knew he couldn't lose his freedom like that. Right. Luckily he got lawyered up that and got his charge lawyer. reduced to four months house arrest. Okay. Five years probation. But blessings come in some of the darkest moments. And that moment was ESTG's that. big break. With football dreams down the drain, he turned to that, rapping oh, under the alias Big G. His life and experiences turned into words and it went hard. G invested in a $600 studio package from eBay and began dropping heat for the streets from his bathroom on house arrest oh, after seeing the up and coming little baby do his thing. Yeah. One of the first official tracks he dropped was Stains and his hunger, talent, and unique sound was clear as day off the rip. Soon he would be off house arrest and it was go time with music. I ain't this gonna lie, what y'all think? I ain't gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck around and rap. I'm just gonna do it because I don't be having nothing to do, you hear me? I'm finna, I'm finna. Mac, Mac, Mula, Mac Mookie with the hoodie. Ah, stop tweet. <laughs> this is where his name EST found so his real roots among his homies that formed the collective EST, EST. Entertainment, also okay. known as Everybody Shine Together. Now, if you thought this was the end of his struggles, you wouldn't be more wrong. Because as crazy as it sounds, this is where his real struggles began. His team was everybody shine together, but somewhere in the mix, somebody didn't want ESTG to shine. Right. But before tragedy struck, at this point in his life, a key figure and homie helped him in the music game, YLG Peso. I ain't never seen a whole one go in the UFO. My people me Word is that they were both football players at Xavier High School, and Peso was like a bro to G. Guess real bonds never end. Well, at least that's what they thought. In 2018, they dropped the banger, the come up, and everything seemed to be on the up and up. They would link up to celebrate G's freedom, and that's when things went sour. On July 2019, the two in their camps hit up quality over quantity media studio to supply heat for the streets. Right. But somewhere in the process, an altercation broke out between the two sides, and sh were fired, ending the life of the studio owner. 27-year-old Brian Owsley, also known as Coach O, also known as Big O. The significance of this was that Big O was not only a pillar in the community as a coach and a mentor for the youth, right. but he was a stand-up guy right. and respected key figure to the West Louisville area. Right. This is where hood politics ignites a ton of yeah. beef and tragedy coming G's way. Down. Like many other cities, Louisville street scene is divided into sets. You have East End, South End, West End, and Newburgh with G reps. After okay. Big O's passing in the ESTG and the West End altercation, the two sides were no longer allied with each other. Right. The music collab stopped, and yeah. ESTG and YLG Peso, even though friends from the past, had part ways due to their affiliations. This was when uh, West End Hood Savage, each block do. So one was from the West, one was from Newburgh, I think they said. You feel me? And they saying after that happened, they had to kind of divide because he was already on that side. I Duke feel that. Started applying pressure on ESTG. H Block Duke reps H Block. H you don't block say. Duke. Which is 23rd and Humler Street, Louisville, and can be seen posted up in his songs like Cutthroat Baby. Allegedly, the West End will begin to set things in motion to take ESTG's life. But G was still pushing his music the, and moving the up the ranks, even linking with Louisville major artist Jack Harlow for the Banger Mall map. Jack kept it 100 and put on for his mans, bringing him out on tour against cops' warnings to stay away from G. Respect, real nigga shit. G Came followed up, up his buzz, dropping two mixtapes in 2019, El Toro and Die Bloody. He was taken off, but not if H Block Duke had anything to say about it. The West End finally made their move in 2019 after G filmed the music video for his track, Taught Different. I ain't gonna lie, when they be talking, it sounded raw as hell. Like, that's why I be banging my head, like, hey, that's hard. baby. G and his bro were in the whip when another vehicle pulled up and sprayed their Hellcat. His brother would be hit in the leg, and G would be hit four times in the stomach. Dang. One bullet ricocheted into his left eye. Recalling the situation, Dang. G thought he was done, but his bro came through in the clutch, keeping him Shout awake the and rushing him to the hospital. To the hospital. Left the video shoot, got Damn. Shit. In your car? Yep. Yep, yep, got shit five times. My people was with me, my brother was with me. Got shit in his leg, I got shit in my stomach. Four times when I got shit in my, my face and my left eye. I did some digging and found this news article referencing two men shit 
up in their whip around the same time, but no names were given in this report. Mm. G had to do multiple surgeries, especially to regain his sense of vision in his left eye. Right. ESTG miraculously survived like a slap to the op's face. He was dropping music during That's recovery, up, including the music video for Taught Different, which they used to plot on him before. Okay, it was a long process, but I was dropping music. Luckily, that I had already had previously shot, right. you know what I'm saying, during that little period of time while I was recovering. He right. was using his tragedy to his advantage, even using his picture of him in the eye patch for his 2020 project, I Don't Feel Nothing, where he addressed the situation on the track Nathaniel Forrest. G would sit down in an interview with Off The Porch and state hate and jealousy in the camp for what happened after a falling out with a friend, which gives credit to the studio shootout that took Big O's life breaking the crews apart. G said something chilling in the interview as well, implying that business was already handled and they got it back in blood. Like I said, the business got handled. You know what I'm saying? Everything is straight. Everything straight. I'm straight. The situation straight. We good. Maybe he was referring to the hit on West End native Brandon Waddles. Mm. Waddles was caught lacking inside his home and murked, but unfortunately, the shooter also took the life of his no. three-year-old baby girl. Oh, he the connection West End. to EST would be made certain later on, but all cops knew for sure was that they caught the shooter, Kevin Lawless, right. and charged him for the incident. Later, H Block Duke would come for G on wax with the diss track, EST. Everybody shot together. And while the disses were cold, H Block. So wait, so what's was the was was the dude was this dude from EST side or his opposite? Also took the life of his three year old baby girl. That's the connection up, bro. to EST Rest would be to made that, certain later on, but all cops knew for sure was that they caught the shooter the Kevin Lawless and charged him for the incident. Okay. Later, H Block Duke would come for G on wax with the diss track EST. Everybody shot together, and while the disses were cold. H Block Duke included footage of G shot up whip and him stitched up in the hospital while rapping the bars. Mm. We get on EST for free. Ask G about that freeway. We the reason for that bad eye and that zip on his stomach and a couple of his dead homies. We get on EST for free. Ask G about the freeway. Facts. We the reason for that bad eye and that zip on his stomach and a couple of his dead homies. Facts. But hold up. You hear that last line that implies West End murk some of G's homies? Right. Well, apparently those words are true. Allegedly, West End spun the block taking the life of G's close homie, Austin Floyd, when they murked him on the 200 block Damn. of North 36th Street. Floyd was succumbed to his injuries at University of Louisville Hospital. Damn. This hit G like a ton of bricks. Hell yeah. That was his man's. Right. Floyd could be seen in music videos like Get Money. To this day, G has his picture on his IG profile pic, keeping his memory alive. Yeah. The bodies were piling up, but EST wasn't going to let that stand and up the score again when Newburgh affiliate Warren Freeman uh -oh. caught a charge for the murking of West End uh -oh. affiliate Reginald Johnson in Louisville's Highlands neighborhood. Even mm. though Warren was caught on footage firing shots at the sidewalk in the Charger direction dropped. of Johnson, he was somehow cleared of all charges, and the case dismissed without Never. prejudice due to the lack of probable cause. Probably because of what Caught a body and though. seemingly got away with it. EST was up. Right. Not to mention G was blowing up, Drop. dropping tracks with big leaguers like Moneybag Yo, right. Lil Baby, and Lil Dirk with the track In Town, where he showed clips of Austin Floyd throughout the video. Mm -hmm. Plus, he secured a $750,000 bonus upon signing with Yo Gotti's CMG label. Yeah. Them fit it real quick. You G know was what I'm forever saying? getting Skate. his lick back for dudes that tried to snake him, and he made it known in his track Lick Back where he came for the op's neck. G bounced back and was winning, taking over the industry. That was until he suffered a series of painful deaths. First, his mom lost the fight to a tumor, Damn. then his brother was murked in the street. Damn. Then, if that wasn't enough, the law cracked down on the entire EST crew oh, yeah, and their federal down. trafficking bus. ESTG, although not arrested himself, saw his name and crew plastered across the news media worldwide. Right. EST labeled a street that. gang operating in Louisville by the feds, lost 10 of their members to the law under charges for trafficking, distribution, and conspiracy, three of which all still on the run. The takedown Never. came at the hands of the federal initiative called they Project get three of them, huh? which all still on three of ass up out the of run. Them. The takedown <laughs> came at the hands of the federal uh -oh. initiative called Project Safe Neighborhoods, and investigations began after Kevin Lawless allegedly murked Brandon Waddles and his three-year-old daughter, Trinity Randolph. Lawless was bailed out for 300 k 
with a number of checks stamped Everybody Shine Together Entertainment. <laughs> Everybody Shine Together Entertainment LLC showed the records of both ESTG and his manager and business partner Eric Mosley, right. names being behind the company. So, so the, somebody somebody on EST side is the dude that that murked the dude and his and had ended up hitting his little Randolph. girl. Too. Lawless was bailed out for 300K he got bailed with a out number for of checks stamped. Okay. Everybody Shine Together so Entertainment. Everybody Shine Together Entertainment LLC showed the records of both ESTG and his manager and business partner Eric Mosley, right. names being behind the company. Right. Cops also tapped into the lyrics of G's song Sky Dweller where he raps. They want one meal for Lil' Cater. No, I'm coming to get you, baby. No, my heart might get me drilled, but it got me here, so risks I'm taking. Lil' Kata is Kevin Lawless' name okay, in the streets. Okay, 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 Mixed okay, that with the name sense. signed that's paying the bond being Nigel Talley, who was an A&R at Atlantic Records and also connected to G, mm. is the one who linked him with Yo Gotti. Mm. This gave the cops evidence to connect the dots and swoop in for the takedown. They swooped in for the takedown. They pulled up that? on Mosley at a Louisville hotel and served a warrant and caught him with a kilogram of coke, 100 grand cash, and an AK-47 style pistol, stolen handgun. God! He's a minimum of 10 years in prison and minimum. a maximum penalty of life in prison. Woo! ESTG is Shit. an arrest that would end his career. It's still possible for someone arrested just to sell out. Him out to save themselves. You know how that go. But hopefully he could remain clean from the drama and continue his career because right now he's one of the hottest in the game. I'm period. Other period. Other than another <laughs> small time Louisville rapper, Johnny 502 trying to beef with G, he seems to be in the clear for now. Hopefully he doesn't take the bait and spark another feud with Juni 502's taunts. Right. I don't like you No, I ain't going to say I don't like you but I'm in your block. Like, real talk. I'm right oh, here. Oh, God. I'm That's right. not. I don't want to watch that. That isn't. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I, don't like it. I, I didn't know that was a story, but that was very interesting on Funnel Gray. I didn't know that that was a story behind EST. Like, I'm, I'm putting a lot of that he's saying together like, damn. Like, I... I know what he talking about. Like I, I be listening. I be knowing the song. Like it's, it's coming. It will be every skate. I hope out now.